in my opinion, I think USA and like Canada, <laughs> but mainly USA is the most advanced uh, basketball team. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because it's team. it's Team USA. Like, yeah. I'm not trying to sound very patriotic, but I feel like USA is like the most advanced thing in like everything. How did, I yeah. Still, how do they lose? Except to soccer. Lithuania? They lost oh, to Lithuania yeah. by six points. But that was only in the group stage, Danny. To contrast what Cole was saying, right? I agree that the NBA team shouldn't call them the world champions because yeah. they aren't the world champions. They're the national champions. But if we look about who Team USA lost to, they lost to Dennis Schroeder, they lost to Franz Wagner, and they lost to Mo Wagner. What league do those three players play in? They play in the NBA. They play in the NBA. If we're looking at Team USA's loss, it's not Team USA losing to another country because USA is bad. It's NBA players losing to other NBA players. Exactly. The, it doesn't put that much shame to the yeah, NBA. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't put that much shame to the NBA. It puts shame to the United States because, I mean, we could have had LeBron, Steph, KD, Kawhi, exactly. Jimmy Butler, everybody, right? Did you guys see the thing that after Team USA lost, Bleacher Report, I think it was Bleacher Report, posted to Instagram, after Team USA lost, there's many complaints about how the stars didn't want to play can we see a LeBron, Steph, KD return to Team USA? And LeBron commented with the eyes emoji. He needs to play. Because the next FIBA World Cup is in four years. The the Olympics are next year? Yes. Oh, yeah, well, well we got to get the All-Stars for, like, the Olympics. We got to. FIBA allows for players who aren't usually in the spotlight in America to, like, be a, on a spotlight in America. Yeah. yeah. On, but the problem is no one in America watches the games. Uh, because, I wouldn't say that. Well, I mean, like, it's mainly because none of the stars that, like, casuals know, like, oh, the LeBron James, Steph Curry, they don't play because they care about more about the NBA than being on the world stage. That is true. That, that is, is true. true. And I like, I like what you said about how people who don't get a chance to play in the NBA get a chance to, like, show their talents because we saw Rondé Hollis Jefferson. He was out of the league in, like, he was out of the league in like 2019, and then he came to the FIBA World Cup and played like Kobe. He was averaging like 30 points per game, shooting efficiently for Jordan. He was playing like Kobe for the country of Jordan. Like, that's crazy. And it can also be like an ego or pride thing, you know? Because like mm -hmm. these stars, if they go and play against like other countries and they do horrible against other countries, they're going to seem bad because now they're known as the world champions. But like if they can't beat Mo Wagner, that's like... If LeBron <laughs> can't beat Mo Wagner, that's that's gonna be embarrassing. That's gonna ruin yeah. his reputation. But like Kaya was saying, sorry, it's all it's like it's a big pride thing because in the NBA, you're you're playing for your team, right? Yes. You're yeah. playing you're playing for the team that drafted you and paid you a hundred million dollars. Okay, that's who you're playing for. In the World Cup in the Olympics, you're playing for the country that you have like your blood is running through your veins of exactly. that country's flag colors, right? It's like a big pride thing. And like, I don't get why LeBron, Steph, and KD and stuff, like why the best players don't want to play anymore because they're what? representing their country. Like if the Lakers win the title, LeBron is going to be praised, of course, right? Yeah. Yes. If United States win the Olympics, the entire country of the United States, people who aren't even basketball fans are going to be like, this man won us a gold medal in the Olympics. Back to what you were saying, like why KD, Steph, LeBron weren't playing. I feel like the whole World Cup would just be too predictable. Like USA is going to be winning every single round. Always. Yeah, it's not like that's a bad thing. I know, but I feel like if they're not in the game, it's just going to like mix things up. It's I get what you're saying. But we're not trying to make things entertaining. We're just trying to win. It doesn't matter if you dominate. Think about the 90s Bulls. Did the 90s Bulls ever say, Michael Jordan, we're going to put you on the bench for the entire playoffs just to give our opponents more of a challenge? I mean, like, why do you think the Warriors got KD in 2017? Because they just wanted to win. A championship. Exactly. Yeah. Because, like, LeBron embarrassed them in 2016. They don't care about entertainment. They yeah. care about winning. It, they don't care yeah, about but the also, fans. another reason why they, like, just didn't play was their age. That is true. Because they don't want to get injured. Look at what happened to Paul George. Paul George was a rising star in 2013. He yeah. just led his Pacers team to the Eastern Conference Finals against LeBron in the Heat. He was an all-star. He was yeah. most improved player. Yeah. He went to Team USA. He was in a scrimmage. He wasn't yeah. even in a game. He was in a scrimmage. He snapped his leg in half and missed two seasons. Exactly. 